everyone, Darren here. And uh, today's episode of uh, Gameplay Critiques Part 3, we're going to be looking at critiquing myself. Yes, I do not think I am perfect, and I always, at least when I'm not streaming, tend to reevaluate my previous performance of a past game to, you know, see what I did wrong, especially if I did something wrong, and see what I could have done better. So, we're in the machine, and um, some mistakes definitely are uh, made here. Um, and we are on El Halouf, uh Standard Battle, and uh, we are on the southern, southwestern spawn. Right here, this is my first mistake. Um, I am pretty much third in line here. I, I'm just going to let those two leopards do their leopard thing. Um, Honestly, for me, I think three wide like this is a, sa is a safety hazard, especially for the third person in line, and that would be me. Um, I am open to getting shot in to the right-hand side, uh, depending on the, how the length of the gun of the person that's second in line. I may not even be able to retaliate because the gun would be blocking my view. And I'm also blocking the per second person in line's view, too, so kind of not helping things out. Really, what I should have done was I should have gone to the hill... Uh, I should have gone down the slope, the ridge that I was on of that hill, and gone down over there uh, to the left and used the lower portion of that ridge to try and shoot up over there. Here's the second thing, is I jumped in here to, because uh, I was under the assumption that there was going to be people there to support me, you know, like, you know, those two or that one vehicle that went down in there and pushed. I thought there was like two other tanks coming with me, with him as well. So I jumped in to help push the lineup. I ended up paying for that, getting shot by an Emil 2. Um, almost took a couple more shots. And uh, at least thankfully, two, a couple other tanks decided to jump in and help here. This is at least something I did right. Instead of trying to focus on, you know, cresting the ridge line up there where you saw I was earlier, I decided to again use the lower portion and I stayed there to have a little bit more easier time shooting in the, you know, staying hauled down here instead of exposing myself. What I did right there was another good thing of, um, I managed to pen the first shot and then realizing he was backing up, I put a second shot in to track him so that way I at least could buy some extra time for me to put the remaining two shots into the lower portion of the E3. The E3 is still sitting there and since I'm almost reloaded, I'm going to do the same thing again. I have to be cautious doing this because, you know, fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, shame on you, and then, you know, fool me a third time, don't even think about it type of deal. Thankfully for this time, though, the E3 decided to push up, and so I was able to help punish him with some shots bouncing, as well as getting some assistance from the team behind me. We're a little bit in a kind of a precarious position right now where um, already, uh, not really... Already could potentially hit us if they are in the right spot, um, but also here that we're also in a spot to where it could be a little bit difficult to take care of the 62A up there. So what I'm going to do around here is uh, sneak around to the side. Now what I also noticed back there was that there is a um, the standard B. I was not expecting the 263 to be back there, so what I'm trying to do is stay out of his line of sight while still pushing out to try and get some shots. I need, it, I need to be careful if I do that, simply because if I poke out enough, he's going to understand where, you know, he's going to predict my pattern. Since I'd be poking out like four times, that gives him four opportunities to try and shoot me. And i got to be very careful with that, as the tracks on the 50B hall are pretty notorious for being easy sh pens. When I was shooting the 263, luckily I managed to get two uh, two shots into the lower plate of the 263. I was not expecting the second shot to go through, but it did. Now, seeing here that I don't really want to expose myself to the 263, the thing that I did good here was I decided to push around and take this side here. Now, I want to keep distance away from the Type 5 because, the, I, you know, as you saw there, already Magnet. Pushing down here, I did not pay attention on the mini-map that if you noticed earlier in watching that, there was a heavy tank down there. I was not paying attention and did not see that. So, luckily for me, he was a one-shot, so I came down, detected him, he detected me, and I stopped, put a shot in him, and, you know, carried on. A little bit risky taking that route, but it worked out for me. Um, 
was cautious because I didn't know where the 263 was. I was thinking he might be sitting in that little U, the horseshoe um, little spot right there to my right, but that wasn't the case. He crossed in over there. This is where I need to be careful. And unfortunately, I don't make it to the end of the game. Again, I got to critique what I did right and wrong. And this was a game where I did something wrong to where I uh, I ended up suffering for it. And that is the next one. I was lit. I was detected, and I took a shot by Artie. The second one is that I didn't bother using my repair kit. I thought I had time. Was not the case. The IS-4 and the 263 decided to push me. So, two mistakes within seconds of each other. And, I, uh, yeah. So here we go, the uh, IS-4 is now chasing me, knowing it's an easy kill. I'm still reloading. The Type 5 did, a, I, I would like to say, a valiant effort of trying to block for me, but wasn't the case, and it was not meant to be. Those two shots essentially caused my death. But, as you can see, um, it wasn't all in vain. I managed to walk away with uh, over 4K combined if not four and a half K combined there. And we did manage to win. But uh, the whole point of me doing this, um, you know, specific video with my footage was to just kind of demonstrate that, you know, even I am not perfect. I still make mistakes. I'm still learning from my mistakes. And even I have room to improve. So, well, feel free to critique my vi my video as well, and uh, if you have videos like this that you'd like to get critiqued or anything, honestly, don't be shy to uh, submit your replay in, and uh, I'll, we'll give it a go, and I'll point out what you could possibly improve on and what you did well, so that way you can remember for next time. But that concludes uh, today's video. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. But until next time, this has been Darren of Watsi Academy.